All right, good morning. Uh, it is uh, Travel Trail Tuesday, uh, Tobel Tuesday. Today we have a 2021 uh, Grand Design uh, Reflection. This is a 150 series, so half ton Tobel, 260 RD. So this is a 26 foot living space, rear den, uh, beautiful floor plan. A lot of nice features, the, the 2021s, where they have some extra features on it with the new Lippard uh, auto level system, touch pad, which you can actually pair up to your phone and uh, run all the functions, lights, your slides, auto level, all on your phone. Uh, you can do this uh, from the outside of the camper and not even have to go inside until you have everything all set up for you. Uh, when you go around, you're gonna see the uh, front cap is one f uh, full piece molded, or one piece molded fiberglass front cap with auto body paint. Uh, you're not gonna get any fading on this. Uh, decals are uh, going to be the laminate decals on this. They're not going to fade also. Uh, so long term, uh, it's going to last for you. On uh, the half ton uh, tow bolts, you're going to see this turn point, uh, turning point radius uh, hitching for your uh, hitch. What this designs to do is, so your half tons usually are shorter beds. So what that, what that means is uh, you would need a slide system in it. But with short, shorter beds, it's hard to get if you have a crew cab with a five and a half foot bed. It, you can't put a slider system in there. So what they did was they came up with this. Uh, so the turning point is actually back here. So it'll turn like this and it won't, won't get close to the back of your cab. Less likely for you to actually hit the cab uh, on your truck. So no damage on the front cap or your truck. So that's a neat feature with these half ton totals. So they, they think about the people that are driving those half tons that uh, have the shorter beds. Uh, so you could still buy a fifth wheel. Um, when you go around, I'm going to show you this is a new feature on the reflection for the late 20s and the late uh, and the 2021s. The auto level button is right outside here. So you have this function here too. Not only do you have that, but inside the uh, storage compartment, you have that Lippard uh, control panel touch pad on it. So, but you can come here and you can actually hit auto level from out here. To turn this on, you have to hit the up down button. And then you get the green light on it, and then you hit auto level for a second, and it'll do the auto level. When you're done camping, you put all your slides in. After you're done, then you would just uh, go back here. You can do uh, hitch height, hit that button there, and it's going to bring the back jacks up and uh, put the pin right back to the height it was when you took off the truck. So now you just back the truck right in and not have to finagle up and down trying to remember where the height of the truck was which is a great feature. And then after that, then you hit the button retract all. Retracts the rest of the jacks all the way up. So that way uh, you don't have to stand there and hold the button up and down button. So that gives you that function of one push button, make it nice and easy while you do other things. It'll continue its motion. Full fiberglass uh, siding in this with the aluminum frame. That's how they keep these a little bit lighter. If you look here, uh, the weights on this one, uh, gross vehicle weight is 99.5 or 9,995, and then you, your dry weight unloaded is 7,500 pounds. So that's where you're, you're going to be just at that point where a half ton tow will make sense for you. Uh, you got propane tanks, 30 pounders, one on each side. So you got one here, one on the other side. That way you have 30 pound or uh, your two 30 pound tanks. You know, I go through maybe one tank a season. Depending on how much you really go out. So uh, once one's empty, you take it out and then you still run off the other one while you fill up the, that tank there. This is your control area where you've got all these different functions here. They're all inside. This is actually insulated door and it's heated uh, inside. So if you cold weather camp, it's going to be nice, stay nice and warm in here. So that way your pull valves are all underneath an insulated area where it's heated. So they're never going to freeze when you're out uh, cold weather camping. And then you got an outdoor shower with a hose that connects to it up there. So it'll connect there so you still have an outdoor shower uh, function. And then uh, if you zoom in and kind of look at this, this tells you how to put all your valves in what position, power tank flush, dry camp, city water connection, winterizing and sanitizing. These valves are all in these positions um, so that way you don't have to pull panels out. So you can do all your winterizing, everything, all in this one little area. And you got your pump 
uh, function here too so you can actually turn the pump on from in here instead of having to go inside and start the uh, de or do winterization or power flush or whatever you're going to be doing at that point. So how tall is this camper? Oh, good question. Good question. I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to look it up. I have an app here. Uh, I forgot to look that up today. I don't want to give you the wrong info. Model specs. Function. 260. Or D. All right, so the total length is 29 feet 9 inches, and the total height to the AC unit up top, 12 feet. So 12 feet even on this one here. Fresh tank is 52 gallons, gray tank is 71 gallons, and your black tank is 39 gallons. It's got an 18-foot awning on it, and there are 15-inch rims on this one, just to get everything out there so I don't forget. 50-amp um, service on this. So 50 amp is uh, for when you have two ACs in this. This technically doesn't come with two ACs, but it's pre-wired so you can put an AC in the bedroom. So if you do run two ACs at the same time, you need a 50 amp service. If you're only going to keep one AC, you can reduce this to a 30 amp and run 30 amp on it too. So most campgrounds are 30 amps, uh, so that way you know you can at least run 30 amp as long as you run one AC at a time. And here, uh, just kind of zoom in this panel here. This is the uh, um, that touch screen I was telling you about, made through Lippard. Uh, that's the screen that you're going to pair your phone up to, and your phone's going to actually have the same functions as that screen has in there. So when you're out, like I said, you can open your slides up. You can stand out here, open it up. If you're close to a tree or another camper, uh, you can do it while you're standing out here and, and make sure that you're not going to hit anything. Slam latch doors here, and again, this is uh, thick, insulated, so it keeps that uh, uh, storage compartment nice and warm. You got your Switex system on these gears. Uh, these uh, work really well, bringing the uh, uh, the slide all the way out and making sure that uh, um, it sets all the way out. You always want to make sure it's all the way out or all the way in because you want it pressed up against these seals here. All right. This is what's going to prevent it from leaking. If you have it part way, it doesn't touch anything, and then eventually, water, if it's pouring down rain, water will get inside there. So, all the way out or all the way in, not in between. If you're in between, can't open your slide all the way, you need to move the camper so you can now open your slide all the way. Go around here. This is your vents for your fridge. So, a propane electric fridge. So, your freezer vent up there and the regular uh, vent down here. As we go around, nice big windows on this one. So these windows open nice and big, so you can get a nice cross breeze in there. And you'll notice there's a window on the other side of the uh, uh, slide too, so you can get a cross breeze in here, from there, um, all around this camper. Um, AC dripping right now. I got the AC because trying to cool off once we go inside. You got a backup camera prep, so it's prepped for it. You just uh, you would have to add to it. Um, Again, uh, I talk about this every week, uh, but the only way that camera works is when your running lights are on in your vehicle, because it powers off those lights. That's where it gets its power, so that way uh, the camera will turn on. If you're in the truck and uh, you can't get it to connect to your camera for the receiver, that means you need to turn your lights on. Uh, fully, fully framed back wall here, which has a, a ladder that goes up to a fully walkable roof talk about the roof uh, they got they went to a thicker gauge uh, roofing now where it actually is going to be more robust it's never it's not going to lift up like some of the uh, thinner gauge TPO roofs are, that are out there Grand Design decided to go to a, a little bit better roofing on it uh, I would I would look on YouTube I know there's probably some videos on this now and check out what what they're talking about I'm not very technical with all the gauges and everything else but it's a very, a very new process with the Grand Design. You have a hitch on here where you can put bike rack, storage uh, rack, or whatever you want on there, and uh, a power outlet. So that way, if you have a big enough rack, if it's covering anything, you can put lights on the back of it. Go around here. This is the 18-foot awning. Couldn't put it out all the way because we're a little close to the other camper right now. But you can see you can pitch this awning right here. So. Pitching the awning and then the 30 pound shocks on them. 
So if you if it gets a lot of water, you're raining, and you didn't roll in the awning, it'll self dump when it gets about 30, 30 gallons of water up there, or 30 pounds of water, and then it'll dump it all out. Uh, it's uh, lots of water coming down all at once. Go over here, LED lights all the way down. You got your blue LEDs and uh, these outdoor speakers. They light up, gives you that uh, more illumination, a little bit, you know, cleaner look to them. And then you have outdoor TV plugs or whatever you want. This is your satellite cable. And then uh, there's um, outlet here. You can plug a TV in out, out here if you wanted to. You can hang one here if you really wanted to. I don't like putting extra holes in the camper, so maybe just put a table out here if you want to put a TV out and put it on the table. Hot water here is propane and electric, and this is a six gallon. So fast recovery, it's around 18 gallons an hour. So you can actually uh, take showers, it'll recover faster. You can turn electric and gas on at the same time and it recovers fast. And then your furnace van over here, so this is your uh, venting out you know, your, your propane and all that from your furnace. And this is the other side of the uh, storage compartment. You can see how big this is in here. There's another outlet inside. And uh, that light up there is motion detection. So that light will uh, turn on when you open up as long as you leave it on the setting one. And then the other propane tank on this side. So I think that does for most of the outside. Uh, we'll uh, head inside here and take a look at uh, the uh, residential cabinetry, uh, hardwood cabins. It's uh, they do a great job at uh, at this. Oh, it's also Arctic insulation in this, double insulation in the roof and the cap, which will give you that uh, um, less less heat release or air release out of it. And uh, it's fully enclosed basement. Uh, which is the basement is insulated and it has forced air into the basement for the furnace so that way nothing's going to freeze up under there. And we'll go inside here. Take a look at the control panel and the radio right here. So you have all your functions here, uh, ceiling lights, tank heaters. So this also has a tank heater which is blankets that go around your tanks so that way it's going to um, not only force the air in the basement, it's going to have blankets around the tanks to keep them warm. They usually turn on, I think, around 38 degrees and go up to 47 uh, to, just to maintain it. It's got a, like a thermostat in it to maintain the temp. Uh, water pump function here. Gas and electric, like I said, you can run both. Or you could just run when you're plugged in. I always run just my electric. Awning here, here's all your gauges. Great tank, one, two. Black tank, fresh tank, so you can hit these buttons and see everything's empty right now. And it says uh, because we're plugged in, it's trying to charge a battery right now. Slide controls right here. And then down here you got your Jensen radio, which is indoor outdoor speakers, so zone A and zone B. So when you're playing this, you can play it inside or outside or both. And then uh, this is a DVD player too. So you can play DVDs on your TV here which pulls out, you can rotate it around. I'll push it back in. It'll be right across from uh, your theater seating here. So the, these chairs have heat. It's got the LED lights, the blue lights here, massage, and then there are manual recline on these. So the two ends have that function. And the middle is, uh, you can either sit there or it's an armrest with the holders in it here. You, this Thomas Paint furniture, when you recline back, it's actually designed so it won't even hit the back wall. So you can almost go completely flat on these chairs when you're laying on them. LED lights above here. The U-shaped dinette in the back. It's a neat function on this. Uh, I'm going to put this curtain seat uh, blinds here. Put this up. Nice big windows here. So this table, they got rid of pulling those legs out and they just pull these pins here or uh, quick release. You can push this table down then. You gotta get the cushion out of the way. You push it down and then you lock them in. And now it stays down. That's how easy it is to set this bed up. And then uh, they give you extra cushions. So that way you don't have to pull cushions down. So pull these cushions out. Boom, that's how quick this uh, 
this bed can be made. Take this out. This can go underneath the uh, bed up front. And then uh, all you do is pull these, pins, uh, pull these quick releases again. And it's going to go right back up. Get it up all the way. And these are adjusted so you can, if it's not sitting tight, you can re uh, readjust it. So you get some wobble out of the table. They're nice and sturdy. Big window in the back. <laughs> it just keeps falling over. Um, big slide window on the back. You got cross windows here for the table. And then you got overhang areas here for storage. Oops. And you can see this is all hard wood all the way through. So that's where they get that residential handles, big handles on these. So it's easy to uh, use. You see these just got the uh, hinges that uh, help uh, close the door. So you don't have to actually slam these doors. Area for hanging keys. And then uh, there's outlets underneath here, USB ports. See that? And then you got another pull down shade here. And then a light here. Lots of counter space. Look at all this counter space here. You can right through this. Lots of counter space. And then you got six drawers just here. And they're nice deep drawers. And they're all wood. They're not that cheap particle board. They use uh, real wood on this. And I'll keep saying that over and over. but see these are nice sized drawers so plenty of storage uh, to put a lot of stuff in here. You got your uh, Furion uh, three burners. Three burners here. Nice LED lights here. Uh, oven underneath. So you got uh, you can actually bake uh, cookies, brownies, kind of you know whatever you can think of um, that will fit in there. You're not going to do a full turkey. Not made for that. And then you got a nice big uh, microwave here. Drawer underneath this for pots and pans. Wine rack. That's a new one. And then a little storage cubby here. And then you still got a couple drawers underneath the sink. They, they came up with these new. Uh, um, dryer covers here so you can pull them back halfway if you want to wash dishes and put it on dryer it's got the pull down not residential nozzle on this nice high off the sink and stainless steel uh, deep sink on this nice big sink on this one and then uh, big cabinets up here and then you got even more up here so you got lots of storage in here. If you fill this up, then uh, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Double door fridge. So big, big fridge in here. And then the freezer, of course, is the same. Section off. Got ice trays in it and everything. Make some ice in there. You got the extra room. And then you even got more pantry space over here. There's a lot of space on this. You got an extra counter that actually comes up. Just always remember to put that down because when you close this slide, it will hit this. So if you're not using it, put it down so you don't forget. Max air vent up here. So I have that on right now because it helps get all that hot air out when you're turning your AC on. So you can hit off and it's actually going to close all by itself. If it rains, it's rain sensitive. It will close uh, if it's raining out. You're, most people will put max air vents over that, uh, so that way you can leave it open at all times if you wanted to. AC controls right here, and of course this is uh, another light over the TV. You get a light on the steps, your uh, fuses, circuit breaker is all right here, easy accessible. If one of these fuses goes, there's actually going to be a red light that pops on. It tells you which fuse is blown on it, so you don't have to go through and find, try to find it. Propane detector, uh, um, carbon dioxide right here. And of course you do have smoke detectors in, in the camper. You got one right up there. 
so that way for fire code you have everything uh, covered for you for safety wise. High ceilings on this one, so it gives you that great feel. This is only a 26 footer, but it feels like it's a 30 footer. It's big inside this. You're not feeling claustrophobic at all. Uh, LED light for the steps, so you keep that on at night, so that, that way um, you can see at nighttime and not tripping on the steps. And you notice the heat vents down there too. The, the heat vents are on here. You don't see any vents on the floor. It's all in the cabinetry. So that way they don't have extra cuts on the floor. So you don't get that little spongy soft spot feel to it uh, around the floor. And then you're not getting debris going inside the uh, uh, tanks or inside the vents. Is there AC control in the bedroom too? Uh, the only if you put a second AC in there. It's pre-wired for it. But the AC control is right there. Um, not in the bedroom, but it is it's pre-equipped wired, so if you did put a second AC in, that's where you would uh, uh, put the thermostat in there. Anything else? Nope, that's all we got right now. Alright, so take a look at the bathroom. You're going to see lots of cabinets in this. So you got cabinets over here, underneath drawers, counter space next to the sink. That's a big thing. Nice stand-up shower. You got a skylight over the shower too. And then there's even another like medicine cabinet under right behind the toilet area too. Porcelain toilet. And this is a motion light too. So again, if you leave it on one, so when you go in the bathroom, you don't have to switch around at night trying to find that switch. Once you walk in here, the light will turn on. These have the pocket doors on them. So this door will close. Privacy. And this magnet holds it really good. It's uh, pretty, actually uh, really tight to try to open. So it's not just going to roll open on you. We'll go to the bedroom area. So again, another pocket door in this one. Pocket doors are great for smaller units like this because then you don't have that swing door getting in your way and trying to work yourself around the door. And uh, now I can leave this open. So if it's just a couple in here, you're actually going to get uh, the AC to really control everything even though the sensor is right out in the living area. But there, there's two vents in the bedroom here for the AC. So you got one, two, and you can direct them any way you want. And if you ever did put the second AC right in here, these vents you can shut and then that way all the AC out there is just going to run out there and the AC in here is going to run inside here. But because there's only one AC, it's actually pretty cool in here. So with the one AC running right now, it's a little hot. Not too bad today, but it's still warm out there in the 80s and it's already cool in here. And now you have it set towards dumping in the main area, but we're still getting decent airflow in this. You got uh, in here, you got closet again motion sense light in this so when I opened it the light turned on and it can hang up stuff got lots of space in there and then another three drawers here and then uh, over here you got your nightstands you got extra uh, lights over here that you can turn on individually so if one person wants to read they can do that there is a plug on both sides and then this one, they put the USB in the middle, which so that way you can share, put your cell phone chargers, uh, I, you know, your watch chargers and everything else there. And then, oh, even more space above, as I almost fall. <laughs> so you got space there, and then of course under the bed too. That's on a shock. So that's where I would keep that other cushion for the dinette underneath here until you actually need it. Um. TV uh, mounts right behind over here with the on the roof you got the uh, cable hookups and the outlet and of course you got two big windows on both sides for light in here and then uh, fire escape over there and then your blackout pull down shades so that all that blocks out instead of those thin paper ones uh, where you can almost see shadows of it uh, that these are going to be a little bit built better for blacking out the uh, bedroom area for light and stuff if you like to go to bed a little bit earlier in the day. 
I'm going to let her kind of pan through the camper here. Um, if you guys have any questions in the meantime, let me know. And once we're done, uh, um, we'll say our goodbyes. Go right. right ahead. So again, uh, my name is Matt Smith here, Colton RV. Please share this video, uh, share it with your friends. If you know anybody that's looking, uh, they can always come in, uh, ask, for, ask questions about these campers. Um, our number here is 716-694-0188. And uh, uh, we'd be happy to help everybody out here. Uh, again, this is, uh, you know, different times. So we've, uh, we've been selling a lot of campers, a lot of first timers. So. We we're specializing and doing a full orientation with you, especially when you pick up the camper. Uh, you're going to go through a full orientation walk. We're going to explain everything about this camper. We even have campgrounds outside where you can practice camp before you take this on your first journey. So let us know if that's something you'd like to do, and uh, have a great day.